Alright then, everyone, hello and welcome back to Mega Man X's. I mean, no, Heart Hunt's Mega Man X Hard Type. That almost came out very wrong. Uh, as much as it would be pretty cool for Hard Hunt to be the main character of this game, uh, I kind of think it makes more sense to be Mega Man. Now, this time I realized I made a mistake and accidentally did the quote unquote hardcore level before I took this last veteran stage because I messed up and forgot that Chill Penguin was the other veteran stage. I thought it was Armored Armadillo for some reason, so I did him first. So I'm kind of doing things out of order, but uh, whatever, we're just gonna roll with that. So time for Spark Mandrel. The stage I actually did last the first time around, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it was veteran be level because this is the first one that's massively out of order from when I did them the first time. Uh, okay, down here? Oh wow, you're like right there. Wee, Leroy Jenkins, uh... Yeah, you, you seem to like your electricity today, you don't seem to be, uh, lightning bolts? Missed. Missed. Well, what's the point of fighting you? Oh, the lights are cutting out already? It's a little early. Yeah. I guess I have to go past that electric bolt thing. I'm now using Sea Sting for no reason whatsoever. Oh, I, I see my E-Tanks don't fill. I'm surprised. I thought they'd uh, fill when I reach the end of a state. I mean, when I got, come to the beginning of a stage here, but I've got my R-Shield now. This is a weird one. I don't know what it's used for, really. I hear shots. I'm scared to find out where they're coming from. Let's go here. You know, I could use my Storm Tornado. I'm an idiot. Seems like a good spot to use that thing. Where do I go? Oh, probably there. Yeah, lots of stuff. Goodbye. Alright, I seem to have made it through there. Lots the worse for wear, but yeah, you missed. Uh, you just barely missed as well. This is slow, but effective. Alright. Just know something else is going to be coming in a second now. Okay, that's not a good place to stand. And we're back. Alright. So let's see, can I do the same thing that I did earlier in the other stage with this guy? Like, in Storm Eagle stage I spawned him then went back and was able to hit him. I yeah, didn't think so. Oh well, worth a shot. Let's just use Storm Tornado then. The other thing I learned in Storm Eagle stage, though I suppose it was more Mega Man learning it than myself, is there anything down through here? I'm probably just gonna die, but yeah. Figured, but it was worth a shot, just like the last thing. No, oh, what the? <laughs> I can shoot him from here, so. Yeah, let's just take advantage of that, I guess. Storm Tornado again. Still not 100% out. Fires on that side too. Rats. <laughs> oh wow, I'm out of Storm Tornado already. Let's try our shield. I don't know how good that is. It seems kind of helpful. <laughs> yeah, rats. This first guy comes up there, so he can't hit me. He's kind of like a warning shot. That guy's like an even closer warning shot. Oh yeah, there's a bird somewhere in here that I didn't know how to deal with. I 
I just hit him with two charge shots like that. I'm good. But those guys could jump out at any moment. Yeah. Not fast enough to deal with those guys, so I'm probably just gonna have to memorize where they are and go from there. Just listen for when the sound comes and tells me he's dead. I want to get the meter if I'm taking a hit. Same with that one. I'm just not sure if I can get through there. If you can hit me, that guy can't hit me. As long as I uh, don't dash into a pit. I can probably get hit if I really try to, but. Just kill that guy. No, I didn't kill him. He must have not been. He must have not respawned last time, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. I can just keep shooting through here, but it'll, it'll probably only come when it actually inconveniences me, unlike Vanilla, where they just showed up half the time for no apparent reason. Oh man, he just keeps coming. Let's see. Our shield can go in there, right? That doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I can hit him with Z Sting. That's kind of situational, but whatever works for me. Where are you? I just know you're gonna come. Oh, that's in the wall, so it's no help. Oh, watch, it's probably gonna get me just before I get the health power. Or that'll happen. Eh, that works too, I guess. Take that, Sawbird. Another guy shows up with the other one did the first time. Let's do you and the sea sting. Haven't gotten any health power ups this time, but don't think it's made much of a difference thus far. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you with the sea sting. Partly because I'm out of ammo. It's kind of a big deal, but. That wasn't good at all. Going down. You respawned, but that didn't help at all. Aw, oh, there's a hole there. I, I didn't see that until I was already in, not in a position to survive that. Snipe that guy. It's funny that there's actually some situations where the sea sting is useful. I pegged it as probably the most useless weapon just looking at it, but... Like, once you get the charge, it's a little better, but... Man, what's with that? <laughs> Don't dash sometimes when I press the dash button. I don't think there's any way I can get the shotgun ice down there. That's... Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Fire the storm tornado through the wall. Because it, it takes so long to fire. It actually works. Oh, here's the mini boss. I'm really scared to find out what you did with this guy because I've only got like two HP left. I do notice that I'm outside the boss stage. I wonder if I can hit him before I uh, actually go in there. No, that's not working so well. Would have been nice. Would have been nice, but. I knew I was going to die there. wish the checkpoint was before him and not after. It's going to make this really difficult. Man, I only got one shot again. Yeah, I didn't dash. Oh, why do I keep not dashing? It's like I'm pushing the jump button before he starts dashing. Yeah, like there. He, I meant to dash, but he didn't dash at all. There we go. 
I actually made it through that time. Alright, don't need that anyway. I waited too long and I messed up my own timing. Alright, now you've gone. So I fire this in your face. That part's done. You know, this really f actually feels a great deal harder than the other stage that was supposedly the hardcore one. I'm actually pretty glad I did that one first. This time I know better than to keep fighting that guy when I've messed it up. Goodbye. charge up my storm you know, it's generally a more useful weapon. Oh, I wish I had that. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how you're intended to Beat that guy. That just seems to work pretty well. Let's try the storm tornado on this thing. I don't know if it'll be any use, though. Oh, wow. He fired his shots at a different time. That seemed to do a lot. I'm happy with the performance of that. Now let's shotgun ice the wall. Yeah. Let me out. Seems to take out the water globs in like one hit. He's at low HP, that's good. How am I supposed to get through there? Yes, got him! <laughs> that was close. Alright. Big ball of water blobbiness, you are now defeated. Hello, yellow area, because you are my next goal, I suppose. Everyone knows that yellow is harder than green, it shows where the difficulty spikes are, of course. Let's use our shield, because I have a feeling I'm not... Okay. Uh, forget that. I was, think I was thinking my standard blaster probably won't take that guy out, so I'm gonna need the shield to hit him before I can... So that I can get by him without taking a hit, but nope, he was just like, oh, and now I jump into a guy that looks like he should shouldn't be there when he is. Hello, thing shooting me. Ow! I landed right on the guy. Well, I said I was interested in how you'd be using those things. I suppose I deserve that one. Oops, no, I messed that one up. Doesn't particularly matter if I die here. Uh, let's put this in the storm tornado. Or not. Let's put this in the uh, void between worlds and wish it was uh, still around. My guy will probably just respawn anyway, that was pointless. Knew it. Oh well. Might as well. Always good to experiment, even when it doesn't seem like it'll be inherently useful. You know, if I had the metal blades, it would help me a lot with these things getting stuck in the walls. Those grab power-ups, right? I think they did. This, this is seeming so far a lot easier than the first half, actually, which is a trend I noticed in the Storm Eagle stage as well. But. Who knows, maybe I'm just asking for the game to jinx me a little. Ooh, darker yellow. This is even harder than lighter yellow. Things are getting pretty crazy now. Can our shield help here? No. I still have no idea what this power-up is good for. <laughs> this is another case where Storm Tornado would help. Oh, rats. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, actually. He is beatable while avoiding his shots, though, which is nice. Just have to do some wall foo, and hello, guy on the platform. I probably could have just jumped onto the wall. That would have been the safer option, actually, but... Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna die here. Ah! Well, that wasn't what I was expecting to happen, at any rate. 
The whole I was expecting to kill me, especially since I was dumb enough to jump when it was dark. But I'm not sure why I did that. This time I should be able to take out Tank Guy really easily. Just wait for this guy to off himself again. Okay. Or fall into the other side. Oh, he's as good as dead there. He might as well have killed himself. That was weird how my shot was just like hovering there for a moment. And I, I was falling in the darkness. I couldn't tell. So it looked like my shot was moving upwards. No, of course that's just an obstacle illusion. Optical illusion, not obstacle illusion. What do I do here? How do I get past this guy without jumping on him? Like that, of course. The obvious, move left so that you don't run straight into him. No, because the other guys are up here, so it's a little more difficult. Killing this turret helps. The other one will not help at all, but... Yeah, if I just point blank that guy to the face, it seems to be pretty good. No, I'm not doing any better than when I came here empty. The R shield, if it banked more times, it would probably have more uses. It's sort of like a weapon to come into dropping down on stuff. But as it is, it's hard to tell what it's actually good for. Making it to Super Dark Yellow World. It's a spin off of Super Mario World. It never really got popular, unfortunately. It was one of the best games of its time. It's really unfortunate. Yes, take that. Despawn your bombs. Alright, let's not walk forward when I can't see. Let's test that theory. Yep, slamming on the wall is much better. The question is... Oh, rats! <laughs> I uh, pressed the R button and accidentally switched weapons, and I tried to switch back with the L button, but that was my dash, so I dashed down the hole. That was a great sequence of events. You know, I'm gonna unmap that weapon changing button for my controller. Give me a second. Huzzah, there we go. I can't switch buttons... I can't switch anything with that button anymore. Remember. Hmm, what? Almost seems like a place to hide a secret down one of these holes. But now all the enemies respawn. That's the secret. Enemy respawning. What a great reward. Thank you so much, Heart Hunt. It's all, that's the thing. Storm Tornado hasn't been nerfed in terms of power. It's been er, nerfed in terms of I can't use it on everything. Alright, take that guy. Health power up. Climb down the ladder. Sit down the wall. You weren't there this time. Weird. I wish I could get this guy to spawn before I go over. My wish has been granted. Thank you, Hard Hunt. You are the genie of Christmas past, I guess. Let's just see sting you. Now let's see if I can make this jump without killing myself. Plan do jump without committing suicide as I go. Yeah, I can kill you through the wall. You're no danger. Yeah, I can just walk off screen when your missiles come by. It's not like... Let's storm tornado you, I think. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, missile in the face. Bad timing. I can kill you with the Mega Buster. No issues found. 404 issues not found. Take that. Now let's hope the second one I can kill without acting like Scrub Tier again. You're dead. I love Storm Tornado. I only get so much of it, but what I get is awesome. So, so far, I still have to nominate our shield for current most useless power-up. So far, I can, uh, see some irony in my statements. Oh, what? Dang it! I, d I didn't see the edge of the platform, so I was, like, all no ontological inertia mode and <laughs> thought the platform kept going. That'll teach me to jump when it's dark. Oh, that took three of those. Kill you. Charge up my blaster. Oh, I keep forgetting you exist. Stop existing. He managed to jump himself off the stage. It's not usually a very effective strategy. I know because I've tried it several times during this playthrough, and every single time it just hasn't worked out for me. It's surprising, I know, but... 
I'm sure someone was surprised at that statement, if, uh, considering it's the internet. I'm sure s knowing YouTube, someone on YouTube thought jumping down the hole was just the most bang-up idea since spli sliced bread. Splice bread? That sounds like a genetically engineering bread or something. I mean, I suppose it might taste better if I do that. Like, candy-flavored bread? That could be kind of decent. Oh, uh, that would probably be pretty gross, but there, we do have, uh, at my grandmother's house we have uh, some sort of candy-ish condiment that we put on bread. It's actually pretty tasty. Hey, I wonder if I could get an R shield in here. Let's find uses for this thing. It's super fine uses for R shield day. Jump. Oh, yep, I don't need to get on this side of the block. Oh, no, he's dead. I almost missed the health power-up because I was being slow on that one. Let's just Storm Tornado you. Perhaps I should have waited before, until the Storm Tornado finished him before uh, switching my weapon to nothing. By nothing, I mean the Axe Buster. It's kind of something... It's kind of like almost my bread and butter here. What's with me in bread today? Uh... Let's see. What happened to the whole no jumping when it's dark thing? Let's R shield you to the face so I can say I used R shield for something. Yeah, because the other side of the platform is just out of uh, view. <laughs> I just went sailing down the hole. It almost would have been a good thing if the enemy hit me there because he would have saved my life. Alright, I can see everything up there. Well, I didn't even need our shield for you. Conserving it. Oh, I should have checked down that hole to make sure there was nothing there. Oh, well. I haven't found the HP power up in this level. That's a first for this game so far. Alright, so let's see how I fare against Spark Mandrill. Probably the boss I was most scared of, but this is Veterans, so. Oh, actually, no. Besides Boomer Kuanger, because I was just kind of tanking my way through that guy before. He wasn't that hard, because. I'll stop talking. Let's just... I'm sure you're eager to not hear me talk and sit outside the boss stage. There's holes in the center. Would you be so kind as to fall down them? Okay, he's still stunned. It gives me the idea that that actually is how I'm supposed to stop that fist attack. Dashing would be much appreciated, Mega Man. Okay. So, can he... F he seems to do that... Ah told you to dash. <laughs> At least I can cling to these walls, unless you put spikes on the purple stuff. Oh, the floor... Okay, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, like that. I pressed the button to dash, and he just didn't do anything. Is it even a level 1 shot? Yeah, like, see? I pressed the dash button for sure there, and... I also want to know, can I stun him with another weapon, because that would help a lot. Let's see, is this spikes? Yeah, it's spikes. It almost seems like it's intended to be some sort of electric tile. Man, that rubber moves for a while. Oh, Storm Tornado, that's what I wanted. Man, that punch move. I do avoid that. It's the same as in Vanilla. I never figured out how to deal with that, because you can't clear him with a jump. And I still am in doubt that any weapon will pierce it. At least I can shoot him when he's on the ceiling like that. That gives me a lot of hits. Yeah, I can, I can definitely feel what I'm doing, and it's... I have no idea why he's not dashing when I tell him to.
really hindering me, too. I can't reproduce it any very useful, though. Let's see, how does uh, Shotgun Ice fare against... Oh, wow. This is, uh, this is very effective. Wow, that that just rips him to shreds. Holy cow! Wow, Spark Vandrill for easiest boss. <laughs> that was crazy. I wouldn't have expected ice to be the weakness of electricity, but that sure worked. <laughs> well, uh, I guess see you later then. Uh, after I, uh, well, I get my electricity power up. I should have tried that earlier. <laughs> Alright, one more hardcore difficulty boss, and then we've got the top tier bosses, quote unquote. I'd expect electricity to be effective against water, but after what just happened there, I'd expect our shield or something to be super effective against water. So let's save state here, just jump into this stage, not really to go anywhere, I just want to see my death counter. I want to see how many shots that took me, because... Note to self, try every weapon on every boss, just in case that happens. I mean, of course I kind of was doing that, but... 259. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I was already in the 200s, wasn't I? So I can't have been more than like 50-ish. I think it was around 30 deaths. I can't remember for sure though. Anyway, that's enough from me. See you next time.